In this video I will show you how to link an external folder to your Moodle site and use it as a repository. So let's jump right in. Let's go to our site administration. Under plugins, scroll down to where you see repositories. Click on manage repositories. Scroll down to where you see file systems and make sure that it is enabled and visible okay click on settings and here you can create a new repository instance okay before you do that go to your Moodle data folder within your um, Moodle installation so this is outside your Moodle folder uh, there's my Moodle site this is my Moodle site and my Moodle data folder is outside my Moodle site on my server so let's click on Moodle data and where you see repository create a new folder here let's call it mathematics course content okay so make sure that it's within the Moodle data folder within the repository folder click on create new folder go back to your Moodle site and now create an instance let's call it now you'll see there uh, the folder that we've just created pops up you'll see there uh, let's call this uh, this is functions Oops. that will be our folder let's click on save and here you'll see our folder is saved now let's test it let's go to site home and under our functions course let's click on basic scroll down and let's just add a file to see if it's actually there choose file we just want to see if it's under the file picker let's choose the file picker here and there you'll see my functions folder if I click on it now it's empty so now let's um, add something to that folder so I'm here in my mathematics folder there you'll see it's empty so let's upload something there okay so once again I'll go to my site okay so let's upload something there click on upload select the file let's choose from my let's choose there click OK it's uploaded it's completed let's go back now when we click on the file picker again there you'll see the file is uploaded so now you can choose the file select the file there and it will be uploaded here and you can click on save okay so it's working um, and this is how you set up a or you link a f external folder to your Moodle site by creating a repository instance. Now let's go one step further and create little subfolders within this main folder. So let's double click on it and now I can create a subfolder here let's call the subfolder functions create new folder and let's move that image to my subfolder okay so now I have functions and I have my image in there and when I go back to my file picker let's just refresh here when I choose a file now I'll see that in my functions folder there's a folder called functions if I open it and there's my image which I can select and which I can upload okay so this is basically for uh, to manage your file system where you can create subfolders uh, in line with your let's go back to our courses so I can actually create my subcourses my subfolders 
in line with my different courses that I have so that everything is managed here. So my second folder that I will be creating is number patterns and sequences. Let's do that. And there's my second subfolder. Okay, so now I have two folders within my folder here and the third one is there. Okay, so let's test it. Let's go into functions. Let's scroll down on the basics. Scroll down on the add an activity. Let's choose the file again. And now when I select the file picker, you'll see functions. And under functions, it will be functions and numbers and patterns. And we can call this, and we can give this another name. Let's uh, give it another name. Okay, so let's go back to our home or site administration. Um, under plugins, let's scroll down to repository, manage repositories. And there, under my file system, let's click on settings. So there you'll see settings, there you'll see functions. Let's click on settings here. And let's just change the name. Let's click on save. And now, when we go back, all makes sense now. If we go back to our functions, basics, add a resource, file. Now when we select the file picker, you'll see mathematics course content. We'll have our functions here, which has an image in it. Okay, let's go back. And then we have numbers and patterns. And so this is how we can structure um, our external folder where we can actually upload um, different content within each folder.